Greetings gamers! Battlefield 1 has been live for almost a better part of half a week if you take out the amount of times that it's been DDoSed and the servers were down. And yes, we are going to be getting towards all that soon. Guys, we're going to talk Battlefield 1, we're going to talk about the game, what our impressions, uh, what we thought of it, first impressions, residing impressions, we're going to break it all down, we're going to talk about it and go over everything. So guys, stay tuned, short intro, 10 second intro, and then we're going to talk Battlefield 1 and our experiences with it. Stay tuned. So, Battlefield 1. Um, okay, first things first, let's get into the positives. The positives are, for example, the game mechanics, uh, the playing it. Um, the graphics in it are incredibly impressive. Um, you know, the dust storms, the gas clouds, the, the destructible sets, absolutely love it all. It is amazing. What, what they have done with this engine is so freaking unbelievable. I absolutely love it. However, there are a lot of issues with the game as well. And this is where we're getting into the negative side of things. So, the gameplay itself is smooth. Um, you know, the, the to combat, uh, soldier to soldier combat is good. I'll oh, we'll get to that in a sec. Um, I'll, if you're close quarters, it's amazing. However, there are a lot of people that are snipering from 500 to 1,000 meters away, um, and that I do not appreciate. Um, not because of the fact I keep dying or anything like that, or because AI could go off and get a scout rifle and do the same thing, or become a scout and do the same thing myself. That's, that's fine, I can do all that. But that's not my type of game, but I'll get to that in a sec. Um, the dogfight, the aircraft to aircraft combat is amazing. The train in the game is amazing. I love the war train. It is absolutely a beast. I think that thing has like six cannons on it. Um, it's not too OP. It's not too weak. Um, you can still take it out by detonating bombs and stuff like that near it or bombing it with bombers. Um, so that is obviously good. The repair feature on the armored cars and the tanks and stuff. Um, uh, great, I love it. Um, I don't know how you repair a tank when you're inside it, but anyway, we'll get past that point. Um, the fact that you can't repair the train, I love that, or that I've been able to find you can't repair it, so I love that, um, because it is a special weapon thing. And, uh, and generally, it plays fairly good. Um, I've enjoyed most of my time with the beta, um, but this is where we are going to get into the issue. So, Glitches and bugs. Oh boy, have we got some bugs. So the menu on it is absolutely painful to use. In fact, that menu, if you want to do anything about it, you click the menu button, go and get yourself a cup of coffee and come back. It is that painful to use. Um, it is that painful to use. I couldn't actually quit the game earlier tonight because it wouldn't let me. I kept going to trying to go to the main menu and it kept taking me to the game party section instead. And it was so frustrating to try and quit. It got to the point where I actually hit the, uh, the, the Xbox power button on the controller, the middle button. And actually had to quit or shut the game down that way. That's the only way I could get out of it. Um, and I'm not the only one that is finding this. Like, okay, sure. Uh, this is... Uh, it's on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. If I was on PC and it was this painful to use, I would completely understand. I would say maybe computer specs. However, due to the fact that I'm playing this on the console, there should be no reasons whatsoever that this menu should be that painful to use it should be fairly smooth it shouldn't be that painful or drawn out or or, or useless and, and that's in, in fact entirely what it is it is useless the 
the menu system on it is absolutely garbage and I'm not the only one that says that um, you know I was playing tonight with Decimator, Straff and a couple other guys um, and we were having amazing issues just even trying to switch loadouts um, you know getting back to the menu to switch when you are spawn in to become a scout or a medic or whatever it may be that whole menu system is complete bullshit and for a game that literally has six weeks before it is to be released I am so hoping that they have done some amazing upgrades on that menu system because the way that menu system is at the moment it would be enough for me to stop playing it really would um, apart from that other glitches that happened I picked up the special weapon that is at actually at F about two or three times I tried to fire it at guys and it wouldn't even fire I couldn't even it got to the point where I actually turned around to Straff and said mate am I pressing a wrong button or something it was like the button wouldn't work um, to which he was like no you pressed the right button and, and he didn't okay I'm not sure if it's just me because he had had no problems using it but every time I picked up the weapon it wouldn't fire and it was like I was picking up an alien device and just trying to press every button to try and get the friggin' thing to fire because nothing could work. It was just, I just, it was, no, it just didn't work. You see the video here, I'll show you now. Um, so there was that. Um, also, other times I've jumped in, I've jumped into an armored vehicle or an armored tank um, and windows have been shuffling left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right. Um, to the stage where I, because I was looking out the window, I had to jump out of the tank, jump back in it, and then it was fine. Um, so there was that. Um, there was once where I jumped out of an aeroplane that was circling a hard point. You know, I was going to say, hey, yeah, let's jump out and parachute in, and, you know, we'll kick in the doors, and we'll shoot a bunch of bad guys, we'll take the hard point. You know, they won't see me coming. You know, all that sort of stuff, you know, commando style. You know, I get ready, I jump out of my aeroplane pull my parachute and I get greeted by a return to battle zone in 5 4, 3 2, 1 you died and then my body proceeds to fall to the ground and slam onto a mountain, bounce off that and fall another 50 or 100 feet and it wasn't just me that actually did that as well. Um, Decimator, one of my mates, was playing it as well and had the exact same thing happen to him. Um, there's some guy, it was probably the same pilot, was flying around in his aeroplane. He's jumped down, he tried to parachute. He's parachuted into a no-fly zone or a uh, out-of-the-map spawn location thing, um, out-of-the-map zone, and died. And then proceeded to fall flat to earth. Um... Too bad there was no guy under him because he could have got the kill, I suppose. But yeah, it was just, it was completely idiotic. The fact that the planes can fly around these zones, uh, but the parachuters can't. And it was very, very frustrating because when you're parachuting, I don't know if there's a button you can press to cut your parachute or something. Um, and then open emergency one or something like that. Um, but they do need to definitely fix the zones or the no-go zones as well. Um, apart from that, like I say, look, um, you know, the, apart from that, the, the armored vehicles are slightly overpowered. Um, it does take about five or six grenades to destroy one. Um, so that is a little bit frustrating considering the fact that they can take you out in a matter of seconds. Um, the horses, uh, apparently a horse can jump another horse with a person on top of it, but it can't jump an artillery shot that is four foot off the ground. Wow, okay, that worked. Um, yeah, one of my mates, I think it was Decimator, actually, or Straff, one of the guys was playing, um, jumped over another horse with a rider on it. Fair and fair game, yep, great, okay, maybe in some sort of virtual reality, I don't know. But anyway, but then when an artillery fires at him, he goes to jump it, he can't, the horse won't jump it, um, or if it jumped it, it sort of hit the bullet and artillery and was killed. Um, so there's that. Um, so that was a little bit weird. The fact that you can jump another horse, but you can't jump artillery fire. Um, and, and just general bugs that, you know, that you would hope after six... It's six weeks before this game's coming out. You would hope that they would have got this worked out and sorted out by now. 
Um, you know, don't even get me started on servers. Like, these game servers have spent probably more time down than up. Um, all because of some 12 year old poodle caught wanker that wants to DDoS the server. Um, I'm sorry EA, I know DDoSing is a problem, but you are a multi-million dollar company. Your servers shouldn't be down for 8 or 10 hours because of some wanker with a DDoS utility app. If you have that issue, you need to employ Anonymous or some sort of other hacking group to teach you how to do friggin' security. Um, that in itself rings alarm bells. The fact that EA's servers can be brought down by Poodle Corp. Um, so don't even get me started on that. But, you know, just the general... It seems very rushed. And look, I get it. They probably spent a lot of time making the game look very, very pretty. Congratulations. Terrific. Unfortunately, I won't want to play the game if it's going to be carrying on like this. Because at the end of the day, you can't use the menu. There's so many bugs and glitches. It makes the game look wacky and weird and terrific all in one. Guns that fire that aren't firing and whatnot. It was just... It's a mess. It really is. And the fact that this does have six weeks before the game comes out, I was hoping that maybe they're going to defer this on delay this game so that, that you know, they can get some of these bugs. I would actually prefer that if they went through and delayed this game because of the amount of glitches that we are getting. It is insane. But anyway. But, you know, that said, the game, it does do a lot of things right, too. And I'm, it's not a great big bitch session. Um, you know, I love the customization um, of what I can see of it anyway. There's a lot of things we can't unlock yet because it is a beta. I love the, the guns, the gun selection, um, you know, the different classes. I think the medic is a complete waste of time because anybody that does play the medic class generally doesn't bother fixing you they just run straight past you anyway even if you do a shout out and say hey I'm dying over here they just keep going um, so that class is pretty useless um, but you know and the, the major problem I suppose I have is the fact that it is a typical battlefield game it is a spawn in run five minutes get into a five second battle get shot get killed maybe kill someone else um, and then, you know, respawn and do the whole thing again. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Um, you know, it is very much like the other Battlefield games. And if you like the other Battlefield games, you will like this game, most likely. Um, you know, the guy, one of the guys we were playing with tonight loved the other Battlefield games, and he was loving this game. So, um, you know, maybe it is just that type of person that likes that type of games. I'm not, not saying there's anything wrong with that. Uh, my personal favourite, I always like the Halo, sort of Titanfall, sort of, you know, Destiny sort of games. Although Destiny can get a bit slow at times. Where you sort of jump in and you're straight into the battle, you know, that sort of COD sort of feel. Um, so, you know, that in itself, you know, Battlefield. Will this kill COD? No, I don't think it will. Um, I would love someone to knock COD off its pedestal. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen this time round, especially with the way the glitches are happening in this game at the moment. Um, but guys, that's basically where I'm going to leave it. Look, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Are you having a major problem with glitches in this game? And, and do you kind of hope that the game might be delayed so that they can get it sort of fixed before they go launching? Um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please slap a like on it. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. And guys, in case you're wondering what looks different, we've redone our intro um, or outro. So let me know what you think in the comment section below regarding that as well. Apart from that, gamers, enjoy yourselves. Have a great night and I'll see you playing games. Enjoy.